Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis on server 68. So, I am in a friend's account here, and he's been playing the game for a while. Unfortunately, recently he did get uh, zeroed on server, and he is looking to walk away. Now, just because he got zeroed doesn't mean his account has no value. This is someone who's put in years into the game. Uh... He has stuff in the inventory other people might be interested in. Now getting zeroed does drop the value, but it doesn't become zero. So he was asking me because I featured some videos in my Ebony real estate uh, section a little while ago, and he was asking me to do an assessment and let him know what I think it would be worth. So as uh, luck would have it, I actually got a message recently from another YouTuber, The Miser. If you haven't checked out his channel, you should. I will have it in the description to this video. And he said, you know, I was looking through your channel and I saw your real estate section. And he's been playing for five or six years, so longer than I have. And he said, you know, he's just got a lot of friends now, a lot of people on different servers who've been telling him and uh, people in his Discord who are like, you know what? This K40 update, this is a little overwhelming and I might be looking at selling. So he has a buy sell section in his Discord channel, as do I. But we put our heads together and we're like, how can we help people out? And if we use both of our audiences together and we allow people to feature more often on our channels, buying or selling accounts, maybe we could do some good for the whole Ebony community. So what we have decided to do is basically offer a service to players. One, we will give a, a, fair, a fair assessment to your account if you want. We'll look over certain things you have, give you some sort of opinion as to the value that you would have. Things to keep in mind would be, uh, number one, your power, your VIP, how old your server is. So what server are you actually on? That does play a factor. Then things like what generals you have, special items that you have, you know, wonder one, two, three, that sort of stuff. And then we'll help you out. But more importantly, we will make a video for you, a unique video for you, and we'll put it on one or both of our channels, depending what you want. There will be a very small fee involved. It's a flat fee. So whether it's on one channel or both channels will dictate how much it is. And it's totally up to you if you want to be featured on my channel or his channel. Now, uh, I'll just tell you the pros and cons of choosing which one, probably. Me, I do more videos than Miser. I update more often, so your video might get out quicker. But honestly, Miser does a better job on present presentation of things he might go into uh, more thorough detail uh, you know he has colorful slides on the side I don't take offense to, to that at all if you want to go with miser totally cool uh, miser is the gold standard as far as uh, my opinion is for you Ebony youtubers when I first started watching Ebony YouTube there was only like one or two guys like Ebony guides and that's it and then miser came on the scene and i was like whoa this guy's the best like look at look at every all the effort he puts into it he has slideshows uh, different graphics and really it goes into detail explaining things so basically your choice on who you'd want to go with would be quality versus quantity and miser is the quality guy trust me so but uh, like i said choose either and and you could do both for a very, very small fee on top of the minimal fee. Trust me, it's a small fee, but uh, things to keep in mind here are Miser and I, uh, we're both saying this is against the fair play rules in Ebony, uh, but Ebony doesn't enforce this. People buy and sell accounts all the time. Uh, but you never know what can happen. There is a risk in purchasing. Now, uh, one of, because there's risk in purchasing, it's a great opportunity to get accounts cheaper, but you are taking risk. I've seen people who spent sixty, seventy, hundred thousand dollars on this game, and then they sold their account for two thousand dollars. So you could pay two thousand dollars to someone and be the king of a server, basically. 
Or you could spend $30,000 of your own money on buying packs and everything like that and just being an average player on the server. It's weird how the finances work in this game. But there's risk involved with buying off somebody, right? Like, in theory, they could always come back and take their account. Ebony could find out and suspend you. That's the risk that goes on with these sort of things. Those, those sort of things rarely happen. But there is a risk, that's why people don't get full value. Someone who put in $45,000 into their account is never going to be able to sell it for $45,000. Plus, that person who put in $45,000 got a lot of fun out of that too. So that's what you're paying for when you buy packs in Ebony 2 is entertainment and fun. And then once you do some of that stuff, like you play in All-Stars, you play in Shalons, you attack people, you win SVS, you're not selling that to someone else as well. So there's their discount involved in it. So as we said here, why is it needed? One of the things that struck me when I was watching the Misers video, he put one out earlier today introducing uh, this, uh, this uh, dual feature we're going to be doing. And he said, uh, according to Ebony's fair play rules, Ebony expects you to just walk away from the game, your time, your money, and just throw your account into the forest. Like, that's just not realistic. People don't want to do that. So every account has money. Like, the one I'm uh, showing you right now that I've been looking through, like, look at the resources here. 10 billion active resources. And then if you go into just wherever here, like, let's look at Lumber. There's 30 million there. 300 million. 4.5 billion. 2.3 billion. 200 million. And looks to be the same all the way across the board. This is worth money. Someone would buy this either because they're doing a fresh start and they have resources to get a get a head start on it, or someone on server would be like, uh, 50 billion resources? How much? Yeah, sign me up. Because if you look at the Ebony packs, it is way more. Now keep in mind, Ebony has come down on people and confiscated resources and illegally traded resources so there's always risk involved but that risk is minimal in, in my opinion but uh, you do never know how do you get a feature you reach out and contact myself or the miser the miser ebony at gmail.com or genghis136 at gmail.com i'll have all that contact information in the description as does miser in his and basically that's it guys so just trying to help out the ebony community and give everybody an option because eventually we do all walk away miser had a funny quote on his yeah my wife saw the credit card bill so time to walk away from the game uh his gtfo plan is what uh he was talking about on his his get the f out plan to get out of ebony and uh some people you know just stuff happens in life and they're too busy for the game and that's totally understandable because this is not a game that's favorable to people who are only going to play a couple hours a day. This is uh, basically a full-time job. So totally understand why people walk away. Anyways, this is Genghis, Server 68. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and get a hold of us if you're interested in this. Like I said, like Miser has said, all we're doing is hooking people up to talk. After that, we have nothing to do with this. It is user uh, user beware. It is against Evelyn's fair play rules, but this is the sort of thing that happens. So like, subscribe, leave a comment.